Okay guys, so another tangent talking about the REL25 that's important to know about performance, not just room treatments like I covered in a separate video, but you're gonna have an issue when you have a sub that moves, displaces this much air and creates sound pressure, especially in a, any size room really, this thing's gonna be a behemoth. I've heard it in a huge room, that house in San Antonio, and it was rattling everything. And so we're talking about how do we fix the rattles? That is a big pet peeve of mine. As soon as I play a note and I hear rattling, I know that people have not spent a lot of effort addressing resonances in their room, which I can't stand. Uh, that ad stuff, it's worse than ticks and pops in LPs. You know, it's just annoying. So this was a revelation to me because I thought I had my room done pretty good. I mean, I've got every single painting has like blue tack behind it. I've got lots of sor extra sorbethane down here, but I, anytime I have anything rattling sorbethane, if there's anything like in the back, even the shelves, I had like a little picture hanger on the wood shelf and that thing was rattling and causing me annoyance. So I kind of lined almost all of the, um, shells with dampening tape um i have to keep this door open because closed especially in proximity to the sub certain frequencies will make this door rattle and even i've tried sorbethane in it i've tried uh dampening thing that you put in your in your um trunk for even road noise to try to add some mass dissipate whatever doesn't you know when you have a sub of this caliber right next to it certain frequencies are going to make it resonate under tension because it's under tension closed but when i open it solves that problem other little techniques i use let's see um weights you're going to want to mass load things sometimes um if they vibrate you can mass load the top and then a sand-based bottom i do have some sand-based platforms if that ever comes up I just don't like any uh, types of resonances. So you can get uh, things like this is for resonance of like your a washing machine puck that would be underneath that because washing machines are always vibrating heavy. So I like to put this with anything that might lean against the wall, interface with the wall, and where sorbethane might not be uh, the right thing. These little pucks are very helpful. Uh, if you see my vibration control, videos i found another use for them that's uh proof positive i put this base trap on top of the rel sub and because i wanted that corner placement it really helps but the problem is is that putting that on top of the sub it's going to rattle and it was rattling against the wall certain frequencies and volume levels but i used my squash ball solution underneath it to insulate it from this and sure enough even with a massive sub like this my squash ball solution insulates the base trap and now it no longer resonates against that and then i have a little bit of sorbethane in the back where it interfaces and touches the wall so that was just proof positive where i was able to change something that was annoying and rattling and now nothing with a little homegrown solution so check out my vibration control videos if you don't know much about that uh, hopefully this is helpful because resonances are a pain. And then, oh, don't forget about your vents. Um, get plastic ones if you have metal ones that resonate. That's a attic doors like this. Attic, uh, I've got sorbethane uh, in the creases there to keep that. That will re resonate. So blinds, I've got windows. I put a film on the window. I've got this blocking the window for some of the, uh, to minimize the impact. And like I said, blue tack among behind every picture frame you've got. So hopefully those tips will help you. Uh, even plastic, I changed to a plastic light fixture versus a glass one um, that was resonating. So try all those things if you're having resonance issues um, because th that is not part of the original recording. That is not high fidelity. All right, guys, so sign up, subscribe, and I'll be back with more stuff on the rail soon.